So, here's my home screen. I'll be showing you how to do it too. I use Photoshop, but I'm guessing a lot of you don't have Photoshop, so I'll be using nothing but free shit. Also, I'll do it on my phone so you don't even need a laptop. What you need is two apps, all right? You need GoDaddy Studio. You can find it in the App Store by searching over. So it used to be called, link in the description, download it, register, sign up with Facebook, whatever. That's what I did, I did Facebook. All right, you also need the Shortcuts app. It comes with the iPhone, but you may have deleted it. Link also in the description. All right, for step one, we have to get some icons. You can pay for icons or you can be like me and get it for free. Um, so you just search free icons and then whatever iOS, iPhone you have. Uh, here's the one I did. Download free pack, download it. And then once it downloads, that little blue arrow down at the bottom will, might look different on your phone if you haven't updated, I don't know. Um, but there goes, you open it, you click on it, and it unzips into a folder instead of a zip folder. So this little blue folder pops up. Anyway, for that to download or to unpack. Uh, once it finishes unpacking, you can see all of the icons that it comes with. You'll need to save the icons you want on your home screen to your Photos app. Actually, I look after screen recording the process and you can just access the icons from your files app too. So you don't actually have to save it, but I did in the recording. Um, anyways, once you have them saved, we move on to step two. Um, for step two, we're going to make a cute little background. I'm a minimalist by nature, so my background is going to be so simple. To make it, open the Studios app, make an account if you haven't already, start a new project. Click the white background. Once you click white background, you click the dimensions at the top. And you're going to have to put the dimensions for your phone. I have an iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max. Um, you turn off the constraint proportions. Uh, you disable that at the bottom there. Uh, you just Google what your dimensions are. Uh, this is how I did mine. Uh, shout out Yanni for the invite. We are on the way. Um, anyways, there go my dimensions. 1284 by 2778. So I'll come back here and totally mess up typing them in but sorry we have the backspace all right type your dimensions in hit the check mark at the top and boom you got a canvas all right you're gonna tap the white background hit edit this is where you get to pick a color um i like the light backgrounds i mean you can pick literally any color you want so feel free this is when your first grade art skills get to kick in let them shine baby let them shine all right uh, I went with like a red, pinkish, light, I don't know what color that is, alright, I guess my first grade art skills aren't there, uh, anyways, then you hit OK, then you add text, I'm putting this, it's one of my favorite sayings, I got it as my background from my laptop for my screensaver, I also got it etched on a watch, uh, pick whatever font you want, uh, then you can change the color, uh, I'm going with this. Um, I really like this color because of pink and then with burgundies and you can add blues in there and beige. I mean, oh, there's just so many good color combos you can do with these, this pinkish, light pink, dark pink, dark purple looking colors. Um, but yeah, you just feel free to play around, uh, find the font you like. Um, you could do, I mean, this is literally where you get to do whatever you want to do. You can even add images and shapes. You can play around with the app. But uh, for simplicity, this is what I did. Hit the little button at the top right to share it and hit save. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to step two. You start a new project. This time you hit image. You select the icon that you saved earlier. And once you open it, you're not going to do what I'm doing right here. Right here, I'd, I guess you could, but I, I wouldn't. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Just ignore all that. Okay, this is what you do. Once he opens up, you're going to add a graphic and you're going to add a basic shape and a solid square. All right, when you do it, it might not be right there. You're going to have to click uh, basic shapes pack. It's like the first pack when you add, try to add a graphic. And then you scroll till you find a solid square. It's different than the squares that are just like the outline of a square. It's a solid square. All right, and you're going to add that one. All right, once you got the square added, you go over to size and you size it until it extends past the edges of the canvas. You hit OK. And then you go change the color. Again, this is whatever color you want the icons to be. I'm picking a shade that's just slightly different than the background color I picked. Then you swipe over to the bottom on blend and you change it to lighten. And 
that's basically it. And hit the check mark at the top, hit the little share button at the top, then hit save. Good. All right, so the process is basically the same for all the other icons you want to make. Uh, here's how I would do the rest, though. You just go back to the first icon project in the Studio app, and then you add an image, and then you pick your next image. I'm doing this through the files this time. You go to your iCloud drive, go to downloads, scroll till you find the icon pack folder, and then pick the icon you want to make. I'm doing the book icon this time. And once it opens up, you're going to resize it until it fills the screen. After you get it to the right size, you hit the check mark at the top, then you hit the rearrange button at the top, and you drag the icon below the color shape. Now it looks exactly like the other icon, except it's a book, uh, but that's not what we want. We want to change the color a little bit. I mean, you could do what you want, but this is my tutorial, so we're going to do what I want. All right, so to change the color, you hit the rearrange button again at the top, and you tap on the color shape, and it gives you the option to change the color now. So then you change the color to just a slightly different color. So a little bit darker, a little bit redder, a little bit pinker, purpler. Then you save it just like you saved the other one. All right, so now you just do this for all your icons. I only had to do it for four. How many you do is up to you. There is an easier, lazier way to do icons, but I'll show you that later when it makes more sense. All right, for step four, you open the Shortcuts app. Click the plus button at the top to add a new shortcut. Click add action. Click scripting. Select open app. Click on the grayed out app button. Select the app you want to add to your home screen. And then you click on the grayed out open app text at the top to name the icon. You call this whatever you want, but it probably makes more sense to call it the name of the app you'd like to open. After you finish typing the name, click done. This is important. Make sure you click done after typing. Or don't, but don't come running to me when shit hits the fan. Okay, so next you're gonna hit the settings button at the top, right next to the X button, click add to home screen, click on the smaller app icon, click choose photo, select the icon for the app, and then click add at the top right, bam, it's on the home screen, do this for all your apps. All right, for step five, you just change the background on your phone. This is probably the easiest step. You open the photos app, select the background image, Click the share button, select use as wallpaper, turn perspective zoom off by hitting the middle button at the bottom, then pinch in with two fingers to zoom out. And then you click set, set as home screen, and bam, you got a dope ass background. And if you finish adding all your icons, then you're basically done. But I did say I'd show you how to do icons more easily, so it's basically the same as step four. But instead of picking out the icon you made in the studio app, you just find a picture that has good colors and shapes. Since the tutorial thing, I did a pink background. I'm looking up a floral pink wallpaper. And I'm just looking for something that you could get a lot of little crops out of. So I ended up finding this nice one. It's got like a blue background and then like pink and different shades of pink and blue flowers. So you just save that to your photos. And then... You go to shortcuts, uh, do the same thing as in step four when you add a home screen, choose a photo, and then you click the photo, and then you just zoom in so you find a good composition. Um, I like this one right here. And then you add it to your home screen, and it looks like that, which I think looks good. All right, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Listen to my music, please. Jacob Soul and Apple Music, Spotify, Backhouse Texas 2 for my ratchet shit. Uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, you know the deal. Love y'all. God bless.